time for the word on Wall Street. Top investors watching your money this morning. Joining me now, Mahoney Asset Management CEO Ken Mahoney, Bull Tech Capital Markets Chief Strategist Catherine Rooney Vera, and Michael Lee's strategy founder, Michael Lee. Ken, let me kick it off with you. Futures are up this morning. First trading day in the new year. The Dow, NASDAQ, S&P 500 all ending 2021 in positive territory. For the year, the S&P gained almost 27 percent. It was hard to find a loser in 2021. What are you expecting um, moving into the new year? Like the IPOs had a rough go at the end of the year. Crypto. But what are you looking at in 2022? And tell us why. I yeah, I think all this is going to be around the Fed. I mean, the Fed really has to pull off like the miracle on the Hudson, the way Sully landed that plane. Remember that? I mean, somehow, you know, with a hot inflation number, somehow keep the nose up, so to speak, and not have a hard landing, so to speak. Uh, so, again, in a few degrees of separation, we make that happen. And remember, the, the Fed has whipped a few times. Back in fourth quarter 2018, they started talking about raising rates, and six weeks later had an emergency rate cut. We knew all about the transitory until he was reappointed and no longer was it transitory about inflation. So I think a lot's going to hedge on the Fed. If the Fed gets too aggressive here, we could have a pullback. But overall, I think your uh, your viewers should really follow the leader. Stay away from those broken down stocks. Stay away from the turnaround stocks, so to speak, and focus on the Apples and Microsofts, those companies that have a wide moat. Uh, barriers to entry are very difficult. And stick with the leaders. I think too many people are playing around with these turnarounds like the Robin Hoods and Teladoc. And I think they're going to be disappointed, to tell you the truth. And I was, uh, there was an article that was um, in the Wall Street Journal at the end of last week. In November, the 2021 class of IPOs were up 12% on average. And by late December, they had traded 9% below their IPO prices. So it was a sell off heading into the end of the year. Mike, the Wall Street Journal, speaking to the Federal Reserve,